Okay, women's tests. Have you ever been in a relationship with a girl um, who, you know, all the time was great, but she be, that at times she behaved in a way that was totally baffling to you, um, made you think like she was potentially crazy, or she's just a really cruel, mean person? Who can relate to that? Hands high? Most of you. Okay, now, I'm not saying this doesn't happen, I'm not saying women aren't really mean and yucky at times, um, but most human beings, if you treat them with respect, will treat you with respect. I've traveled to over 100 countries, and there's very few just bad, bad people on this earth as a percentage. Um, equally, most women are good. Most women are good, and the reason guys are having so much problems is because they don't necessarily understand them as much as I'd like. So. Um, so what most of my, I coach some fairly successful guys, most of my clients are stuck with this problem. IQ, intelligence. Beauty, physical beauty. Sane, is she a whack job? Now, the problem with this, and this is the problem with dating for everyone, but particularly in the Western world, um, especially post all the differences in male, female power structures and dynamics that are going on now, um, is that you can only ever have two out of the three. So you guys all need to pick, do you want a beautiful girl who's really intelligent, which I certainly do, in which case she's probably gonna be completely batshit crazy. Or do you want a really beautiful girl who's sane, who, you know, count, <laughs> counting to 10 without stopping to think about it, it's a bit of a struggle for her. Or do you want a girl who's, you know, not that flash, you don't really want to be seen in public with her. Getting up can be a struggle at times. But, you know, she's really smart, you have great conversations with her, and she doesn't make your life a living hell at least one day out of every week. So, which do you want? Who wants beautiful, smart, no, who wants, who wants um, smart, sane, and ugly? Put your hand up. One. <laughs> smart, sane, and ugly. Or average looking at best. So there's two votes there. We've got an experienced man in the background. Who wants um, sane and beautiful, but not that bright? <laughs> the surrealist of the world. And who likes to make life as difficult for themselves as they possibly can? They want a beautiful girl with a high IQ who's batshit crazy. Okay, the ambitious ones. <laughs> um, I can tell you one thing. The guys who want the beautiful girl with low IQ have a much lower life expectancy. It's much worse than smoking cigarettes for a lifetime, statistically. I just made that up. So, <laughs> they believe me. Um, that, that, that's the challenge we face. And I would have made this you know, joke or whatever you want to call it um, 10 years ago. But today, today we're employment law, um, the, the media, um, the divorce law, the family courts, um, where Companies, uh, a guy, when I was in finance, I used to look after some of the direct or <laughs> ships. They're being haul hauled over the coals because there aren't, you know, the board isn't half men, half women. They're <laughs> shipbuilders. What, what, what woman wants to work as a shipbuilder? So, so where are they going to get talent through the, the lines to get onto their board who are women? I mean, how, how is this going to happen? It's just, it's crazy. It's just, it's so nuts the world we live in. So. The problem that has existed for you know, hundreds of years for men is so much more pronounced today. Does that make sense? Now, I'd say 98% of men um, think that a girl is rejecting them or not interested in them and miss out on a potentially great woman. Or, um, or they think a girl's just a crazy bitch and they screw up a potentially good relationship when she's just playing mind games to test you and see what sort of a man you are. So this... I don't know what you want to call this. This little model here, if you can't get three out of three, you can. It's still very, it's still pretty hard, but you can. The problem with most men is that they've got this beautiful girl with a high IQ who probably has higher standards as well, and you have come to the conclusion she's batshit crazy. But what may be actually happening is she's just testing you to see what sort of a man you are and you confuse her tests, which you don't understand, you can't see, you don't know how to pass, with her being, you know, someone who should be institutionalized and really evil. Does that make sense? So, if I asked all of you to tell me all these stories about crazy women you've had in your life, 
I bet you if I heard them out in detail, I would actually see the girl's point of view and explain it to you and you'd go, oh shit, no, I, I can actually see her point of view now. Not in all cases, there are some women who are just hideous, but mostly you just don't understand what's going on. Hey, so if you, you got something out of that video and you want to find out more on similar topics, click over to the left here. And if you want a fantastic free gift from us, something over and above what we, we give you on YouTube, uh, click over to the right there. And I look forward to seeing the results you get out of it.